Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my eyeshadow collection. So first we're just going to start off with the drugstore. First one that we're starting off with, let me adjust this right now. The first one we're starting off with is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Dream Stream eyeshadow palette. Oop. And it just looks like this. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's great for the price, and I love all the shades in here. So it's the first one. The second eyeshadow palette is this one from Revolution, Makeup Revolution London, and it is the, the Reloaded Neutrals 2, and it's basically like the pinkier kind of tones. This eyeshadow, these eyeshadows are so great for the price, and I can't believe that it's so cheap, and the eyeshadows are great quality, so... The next eyeshadow palette is the Maybelline and Shayla, the City Mini palette. They don't sell this anymore, I believe. But here this one is. Really great eyeshadow palette. I just wish there were more, like at least one more matte to go with this one. But, I mean, it's still pretty great. The shimmers are very buttery, so... It's a great eyeshadow palette. The next one is the Maybelline Soda Pop. I love these and I love the way that they smell. These do need a little bit more like effort in blending them and stuff, but I still love the eyeshadows in here. So. The next one is the Lemonade Craze. Again, same thing with this one. This one, the eyeshadows just need a little bit more effort and blending, but I love the tones in here. I think it's really cute and really great for the price. The next one is the BH Cosmetics Shine XO, the Remix one. Um, I know they don't sell this one anymore, but you might find it like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But I love this eyeshadow palette. I love how it's double-sided. are the first eyeshadows that she came out with in her original palette with BH Cosmetics. And the other side was um, lip glosses. But I actually gave that one away when I purchased this one. And then the other side is the new colors that she made with them i love this palette again great eyeshadows for a really great price the next one is the wet and wild not a basic peach wet and wild eyeshadows are so good for the price like for especially for the price like this is cheap but like it's really great and I love these eyeshadows I need to use it more in a video the next eyeshadow palette I have is the LA colors eyeshadow in the shade um, 133 tradi traditional I have not used this one yet, but I will in an upcoming video soon, so stay tuned for that. The next eyeshadow palette is the Revolution Self X. This was her first palette that she did when she came out with eyeshadows with them, and 
I love this eyeshadow palette. Like, this is a good eyeshadow palette to travel with. It has everything you need in here. It has a lot of transitions, shimmers. It has some pops of colors in here. This is just my one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I recommend this one if, if they still sell it. I'm not too sure. Okay. The other one is the same one, the Revolution Self X extra spice one this one i prefer over the other one but i love how the other one has more um colors in it like more transitional shades but like this one is so cute this one is like so cute it has like your pops here and there it has very dark sultry colors i just there's me i just really love this eyeshadow palette again good for the price This is the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics Deluxe Edition eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette, I believe they don't sell this anymore, but you might be able to find it like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But this is the Deluxe Edition. I used to have the first one, and I gave that one away as well when I had purchased this one. This palette is just stunning. I love these highlighter shades. I want to depop them and put them in a Z palette so I could use them more in my highlighter drawer. But these eyeshadows are gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with that shade. So. The next one is the Profusion Cosmetics Sultry eyeshadow palette. You could find these at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Walmart, and maybe some Targets. I'm not too sure. But these are great. I think I got this one at Walmart, and it was, like, on sale for, like, $9, I believe. And it comes with a brush, which I do have. It comes with this brush, and it just goes like that. This is a really great eyeshadow if you're starting off and you want to um, build up your eyeshadow collection. Or if you're a freelance makeup artist and you're just beginning and you want some affordable eyeshadows, this is really great. And plus, it comes with a brush. So. The next one is the same one from Profusion, but in Sienna's. And, again, really great. It has a lot of warm shades in here. It does come with a brush, the same brush that I have. And this is, again, really good if you want to build up your kit or something. With eyeshadows, these are really great. Okay, the last Profusion one that I have is the Berries. This one just has, like, your pops of colors in here. It's really cute. Again, comes with the same brush. So, yeah, really great for the price. I think these are, like, $10. $10 or $11. These are really great. The next eyeshadows, I have three eyeshadows palettes that I'm going to be talking about next. And they're not considered drugstore and they're not considered high-end. So the first one that I have is the Ace Beauté. Um, I don't know how to say that, but I got this in my BoxyCharm. I love these two colors and that one, of course. But I just looked it up and it's $24.99 and I wouldn't pay $24.99 for eight eyeshadows and no mirror, but... It's a really cute eyeshadow palette, and I really need to use it more, so. The next one is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe. This is her first, the first round of palettes that she came out with. Now they have the names on them in the back. But I have the old school one, the one that she first came out with. And I just have the names taped up on here on that little card. But I love this eyeshadow palette. Again, this is really great. If you want to, like, start up your freelance kit with eyeshadows, these eyeshadows are great. And it just has, like, every color in here that you could think of. So, I love this eyeshadow palette. The next one is the... 
is the Morphe X James Charles palette. This one is just humongous and it has every single shade that you could think of. Like, if you want an eyeshadow palette that has every shade in there, like, go for this one. Like, this one is so good. It has all your neutrals in it. You have some bone colors. You have a black. You have pink. Like, you have every color in the rainbow in here. It's a really great eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette is from Tarte. And I got this in a BoxyCharm. And it just looks like this. It's very just basic eyeshadows but i don't know like i can't give this away like i love it so much and it smells so good like chocolate i just love it i feel like it's good if you're traveling and you just want to take something that's small but like has a really good mirror and you just want to do something like natural when you're there like this is a really good palette The next one is this Natasha Denona one. They don't even sell this anymore. This was a holiday one. Um, it's in the shade Joya. But I love this so much. These eyeshadows are so good. I'm in love with this one and that one. Okay, I'm in love with all of them. <laughs> They're just so great. So, yeah. It's so sad that they don't sell these anymore, but this was a really good one. Okay, so here's the next one. It's the is the Violet Voss Essentials, and I love this eyeshadow palette. I recently forgot this back home in Texas, and my mom <laughs> mailed it over to me with the with other stuff, of course, not just this eyeshadow palette. But I love this eyeshadow palette. I haven't gotten a chance to use it more. I definitely want to use this emerald shade, but I love this eyeshadow palette so much. Okay, so this is the Blushing Berries from Dose of Colors. I love Dose of Colors eyeshadows. I think they're so great. They are a little pricey, but like the quality of them is amazing. And it does come with a brush. <laughs> so it does come with a brush that I don't have because I gave them away to my mom. But the brush in here too is really great. And this one is also from Dust of Colors, but it's the Sassy Sienna's one. I love the... Look, okay, here's the brush. The brush looks like this. I did not know that this brush was in here. But... Excuse me. One second. While my husband's watch stops beeping. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. It just has like a, a pointed pencil brush and then like the little flat brush. These brushes are really great. Put that back in there. But this is what the Sassy Sienna's one looks like, and I love it so much. Really great pigmentation, and I just love these eyeshadow palettes. The next one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Um, honestly, this palette, it's pricey for no reason. Like these shades are just a meh. But you will see me using this more because this is in my project pen. So look out for that. Okay, so these next ones are the Mac Patrick Star. I got this for Christmas when it first came out. And honestly, I will never give these away. I wore these on my wedding day so they have a sentimental value and they're bomb. These three shades are existing shades at MAC. This is the only one that was a limited edition shade. And it's the shade. Um, It's the shade. Oh my god. But yeah, these other three shades are existing. I believe this is Embark, Saddle, and Boule. So I love these eyeshadows. We're almost done. We have um five more palettes. <laughs> 
So the next one is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was one of my first high-end eyeshadow palettes that I ever received. And I got this for my birthday, I think when I turned 20. No, when I turned 19, I believe I got this for my birthday. I love this so much. It comes with a brush. The brush is amazing. I just love these shades. I just don't want to use it all up because I know that I won't buy it again because it's so expensive. But I love these shades. <clears throat> okay, so the next one is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Oh my god, this one was so expensive when I bought it. I was just kind of like, uh, what did I just do? Um, this thing was like almost $60. But I love it so much. I love the shimmers. Like, they're a different kind of, like, consistency than other shimmers. But I love mixing Twilight with Retrograde. I think it's so beautiful. And, like, putting it on top of Amethyst. Oh, it's just so good. So yeah, this is like my husband's favorite eyeshadow palette that I wear. He's always telling me to wear this one. He loves it so much too, but it was really expensive, so I wouldn't see myself purchasing it again. The next eyeshadow palette is the Marc Jacobs Iconic. I just received this. I just received this in the mail. My grandma sent me this, so I have not even had time to use it. But let me know if y'all want to see a video on this. If I could pull it out, it's like really hard to come out. Okay. This is what it looks like. And then it has the shades. Oop. The shades in the back. So. Like I said, it's brand new. This is what it looks like. I love these shades. Like, oh my god. I love all these shades, especially this one. I think it's so beautiful and I can't wait to test this out so yeah let me guys know if you want to see a video on this the next eyeshadow palette is the Tarte um, Adeline Morn I don't know if I'm saying that right it also sent me this in the mail and I've only used um, a few shades in this but I love this eyeshadow palette. I wanted it when it first came out, but I just never bought it. So I used a little bit of the highlighter, the blush, and I used these two shades mixed together, but barely. And honestly, it's so beautiful and so pigmented. I wish I would have bought it sooner, but I love this eyeshadow palette so much, and it smells good. <laughs> it smells good like chocolate. I just think the packaging is so cute. Like the lemons with the little cute soft pink in the middle. Like, so cute. Okay, so the last one I have are my singles. I just keep them in this Sephora Z palette. So this might be a little hard for me to pick them up with these nails. So. The first one we have is the MAC Coppering. Um, this, if you see it written like this then that means that it was in a pot and I depotted it and I put it in here. So this was the MAC if I could pick it up right now. So this was the MAC hold on. The MAC Coppering eyeshadow. I think it's really cute. The next one is if I could pick them up with these nails. Okay. Next one is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Blazing. I love this. It's like a dark, it's like a dark, warm eyeshadow. And the camera is not doing it any justice. But there you go. You can kind of see it like that. It's just like a dark, warm eyeshadow. And I love it so much. The next one is the next one is Frap A by Makeup Geek. Um, Makeup Geek was the first eyeshadows that I bought that were single, and they are so good. I know she just like rebranded um everything, so these are the older ones, but this is so cute. <gasps> oh my god! Did you guys see that? 
you could kind of see the true color if I hold it like this. I'm sorry, the camera is just acting really weird. But this is what it looks like. The next one is crumble. Is cr crumble it cream? I cannot see the shade. Is Cream Boulet by Makeup Geek. And I already hit pan on this one. I used to use this up. I used to use these like every day. I first bought these eyeshadow palettes. These eyeshadows because Jacqueline Hill was like raving about them. Like old school Jacqueline Hill. And so I was like okay. She got me. I'm going to buy them. So I had bought this one and the frappe. And then that white one that I'm about to show you in a bit. But it was all because Jacqueline Hill was raving about them. The next shade is like this yellowy, mustardy kind of shade, and it's MAC Goldenrod. This one's so cute. I also depotted this one from a MAC eyeshadow thing that I had. Oh, wow. Okay, I bought four Makeup Geek eyeshadows because Jacqueline Hill. So the next one is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I hit pound on this one too. So, these Bangle Geek ones are really great. Again, I bought these because Jacqueline Hill was raving about them. So, I bought four Makeup Geek eyeshadows. <laughs> the next one is Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. By Makeup Geek. And you could already see it has like a little divot in it from when I used to use it so much. But yeah, I have bought Vanilla Bean, Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, and frappe. I have bought these four because Jacqueline Hill was raving about them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pick these up. And they were really great. So I remember when single eyeshadows used to be a big thing on YouTube. So the next one is MAC um, Rule. I believe it's like so dirty. But I think you can see it right there rule this one is giving this one is almost done but it's a little bit lighter it's lighter than blazing by anastasia but compared to frappe by makeup geek it's way more orangier so and the last eyeshadow is this shimmering one from Anastasia and Sunset. This one is so foiled and like metallic. It's beautiful. It's like a bronze gold kind of color. It's so gorgeous. So I keep them all in this Z palette. And pretty soon I'm going to be using them in my project pan. Just because I want to get more use out of them. Oof. So, so look out for that in my project pan videos coming up soon. So that's it for the eyeshadows. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know down below if you want to see me use any of these eyeshadows in an upcoming video.